People used to say that single malts would never be popular because blends were the king of the whiskey world. But now, people don't really talk a lot about blends. In fact, they look down on them. And I think that's wrong. In this video, we're going to tell you what a blended whiskey is, the role that the master blender plays, what makes a good blend, and finally, we're going to tell you how you can win a free bottle of Ballantine's 30 year old, one of the best blended whiskeys in the world. So make sure you watch until the end. What is a blended whiskey? Well, blended whiskey is exactly what it says on the tin. It's a blend of different whiskeys, which, you know, makes sense. That's why they call it that. But what's really important and the reason that people tend to look down on blended whiskey is that a lot of times it has grain. And grain is not particularly complex. It isn't nuanced. It doesn't give a lot of overwhelming, interesting flavors to the whiskey, and frankly, it's cheap. Because a single malt has to be made from barley, barley is more expensive, and tastes better as a whiskey. Yep, that's true, absolutely agree with that, because that's just a fact. But the thing about grain whiskey, and why it's important in a blend, is it's like, it's like, it's like the sounding board. It's like, the white canvas. So you're going to paint a picture and you need to paint it on something. And grain whiskey provides that. It gives something that the strong single malt can stand in contrast to. And in some ways it actually brings out a lot more flavor. So even though it's less expensive, that's kind of the point. So what is blended whiskey? Blended whiskey is a mix of whiskeys from lots of different places, and typically it has grain. And that's not a bad thing. What's a master blender? Well, it, again, sort of sounds obvious. The master blender is the person who blends all of those whiskeys from different places together to make your blend. But it's actually a really complicated job. Because imagine, okay, imagine your job is to know every single flavor and nuance of a whiskey from a particular cask. Basically, what they do, they go through every single cask in their collection or that they have access to, and then they find the flavors they want to blend together to make your blend. So they have to know everything there is to know about that whiskey. So it's a really complicated role because they're creating the flavor. And what makes it even more complicated is a well-established blend like Johnny Walker always needs to taste like Johnny Walker. Johnny Walker Red might be a simple, cheap whiskey, but no matter what, that bottle of Johnny Walker Red will always taste exactly the same. And the master blender's job is to make sure that whatever goes into that bottle gives the same flavor, gives the same profile, is always identified as Johnny Walker Red. So that's their job, to go through, taste and smell all the whiskey and create a consistent, powerful, interesting, blended whiskey. Sounds like a good job. What makes a good blend? Well. I'd say it's a mix of consistency, consistency, and then trying to make sure that your whiskey is always consistent. That is the major challenge for, well, single malts and for blends. Because like I said before, your job is to make sure that Johnny Walker Red always tastes like Johnny Walker Red. But when you've got let's say Glenfiddich 12. Glenfiddich 12 is going to be a challenge to make sure Glenfiddich 12 always tastes like Glenfiddich 12. But you're restricted to always using the same barrels that have been aged the same amount of time in the same location. And don't get me wrong, ensuring that you've got consistency of a single malt is definitely hard. But it's much harder when you have a blend because 
Well, you've just got more stuff. You've got more whiskeys you need to deal with. So putting together and maintaining consistency in a blend is really challenging, but that's what makes it a good blend. And when you find whiskeys that have been aging for a long time, or you're doing a mix of some whiskeys are going to be 12 years old, some might be 20 years old, and you're putting all of these different great casks together to create your blend, it makes consistency really hard. But that's the target, because you want a consistent flavor, and that's the secret to a good blend. Some of the blends that I think do that consistency really well are Monkey Shoulder, Sheep's Dip, and Pig's Nose. I, I didn't mean to pick those whiskeys that all have like the same sort of name, but they do. One side. Those whiskeys are fantastic. They're all blends, and I would stack Monkey Shoulder, Pig's Nose up against a single malt any day. They're great whiskeys at a pretty good price point, and they're worth you checking out. Well, those blends are fantastic, Ballantine 30 is an amazing blend. Unfortunately, it's not easy to get your hands on, because it's a 30-year-old blend, and that means it's expensive. It is worth trying, and you can try it yourself by entering in a competition to win a free bottle. Just click the link in our description and go over to Dream Whiskey's website. There are loads of different ways you can enter. You can go onto Dream Whiskey's mailing list, you can tweet about the competition, you can subscribe to our channel. Lots of great ways to enter, and you can try this absolutely phenomenal blend. Click the link right now. You don't want to miss this opportunity. If you're watching this video after November 2018, the competition for Valentine's 30 is over and you probably missed out. I'm sorry. But luckily, we do a competition every month. So make sure you click the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any opportunities to win. And give us some comments down below about what your favorite blends are. I'd be really curious to know what you're drinking and the blends that you like. Thanks for watching.